how do microservices communicate with each other we'll explore the two main ways services talk synchronous and asynchronous let's begin with synchronous communication in this approach one service makes a direct request to another and waits for a response most of the time this is done using rest apis over http think of it like this service a picks up the phone and calls service b it asks for something and pauses until it gets an answer this kind of communication is a real time service a can't move forward until service b finishes and responds so when would this be useful let's imagine an e-commerce system a customer clicks place order that request hits the order service but before it can confirm anything it needs to talk to other services first it needs to check with the inventory service to see if the item is in stock it sends a rest api call to inventory inventory processes it and replies maybe it says yes we have 5 units left only then can order service move to the next step payment so it sends another synchronous call this time to the payment service asking to charge the customer's card if that succeeds the order service confirms the purchase this whole process relies on each service being available and responsive in real time if inventory is slow everything slows down if payment is down the entire order fails but it's also straightforward you get immediate results you can validate outcomes in one flow and it's easy to trace because each call follows a single path so when is synchronous the right choice use it when the service calling needs a decision or confirmation before continuing it's great for things like processing payments checking inventory or getting user data basically any situation where the answer is required before moving forward but keep in mind this approach creates tight dependencies if one service is unavailable or slow the entire chain is affected you need to design for timeouts retries and proper error handling now let's look at asynchronous communication this method works differently instead of calling a service directly and waiting the sender simply emits a message and continues on its way the other service receives that message separately on its own time it's like dropping a letter in a mailbox you send it and trust that the other person will pick it up and handle it later asynchronous communication usually happens through a message broker like kafka rabbitmq or aws sns now here's a practical use case let's say a user signs up for your platform the front end calls the user service which stores their information in the database now you want to send them a welcome email but that doesn't need to happen right away so instead of calling the email service directly the user service publishes a message user registered the email service is subscribed to that event it listens for the user registered message and when it sees one it sends the email maybe the analytics service is also listening it logs the sign up data maybe a rewards service gives the user some bonus credits none of these services talk to each other directly they are all reacting independently to the same event that's asynchronous messaging in action so when should you go asynchronous use it when services don't need to respond right away or when they shouldn't even know who is listening it's ideal for background tasks notifications logging or anything that doesn't block the main flow this model keeps services loosely connected if email service is down the user can still sign up the message will be picked up later when the service comes back online asynchronous communication makes your system more flexible and more resilient but it also introduces more complexity you will need to manage message queues retries and delivery guarantees and debugging can be harder because events can be processed out of order so how do you decide between the two if your service absolutely needs an answer before it can move forward like a payment response or a validation check go synchronous that's where our est apis shine but if the service is just publishing something that others might care about like user signed up or order completed then messaging is a better fit the truth is 
most modern systems use both rest for core business flows messaging for events and background actions it's not about choosing one over the other it's about using the right tool for the right job thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video